G'day folks, welcome to part two of my beginner's guide for the Hero 8 Black. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to transfer all the content that you have stored on your Hero 8 Black, stuff that you've recently shot, how to transfer it to your iPhone or your iPad. If you're using an Android device, you can still follow along as it'll be very similar. So let's just jump right in and take a look. So if you're brand new to the Hero 8 Black and you just picked one up, maybe you got one over the holiday season and you're just starting to use it now, I definitely recommend going to watch part one of my beginner's guide. I'll include a link to it down in the description of this video so you can go and check it out. It's a very detailed guide on how to get the most out of your Hero 8 Black. In part two, we're going to discuss how to get the content from your GoPro, stuff that you've recently shot, onto your iPhone or your iPad so you can edit it or share it. In front of me here, I have an iPhone and an iPad. And the method I'm going to show you here works the same for both devices. Now I'm going to demonstrate on the iPad here just because it's a bigger screen and it'll be easier for you to see. Now in this video I'm going to show you a couple different ways to transfer your content from your Hero 8 Black over to your iPad or iPhone. The most common way is to connect via Wi-Fi and transfer everything over wirelessly. The only problem doing it that way is that it is kind of slow, you can burn through a lot of battery power and it's a little bit cumbersome. There is a much faster way by connecting the memory card directly to your device and we'll go over both methods here coming up. Now the first thing we have to do is connect the GoPro to our device. I did include this information in the original beginner's guide part one, but I'll just go through it quickly here in case you haven't watched that yet. The first thing you're gonna have to do is download the GoPro app. You can see I've got mine downloaded here. Just go on to the App Store or the Google Play Store and search for GoPro. Look for that icon and download it. Once you have it downloaded, we're now going to connect the GoPro Hero 8 Black to our device. So the first thing we're going to do is power on our GoPro. Just like that. But we're going to bind the two together. And this is something you only have to do once. Now I'm turning my iPad into portrait mode just because the GoPro app when it launches wants to be in portrait mode. So I'm going to go ahead here and launch the GoPro app. This is going to be the main screen that pops up when you first launch it. So to connect our Hero 8 Black to the GoPro app, what we're going to do is click this button down the bottom left hand corner. And it's going to bring up a list of cameras that we do currently have connected to it. Right now you can see I have my GoPro Max listed and I have a Hero 7 Black. Now I just want to mention here, if you do own the GoPro Max, what I'm going to show you here works for it as well. The procedure is identical. So we want to add the Hero 8 Black to this page here, but the first thing we have to do is put the Hero 8 Black into pairing mode. So to put it in pairing mode, we're going to swipe down from the top. We're going to click on Preferences. We're going to go to Connections, and then we're going to go to Connect Device. This list here allows us to connect to different devices. You can see here we have the Smart Remote listed, but what we want to do is connect to the GoPro app. Once you see this page here, that means it's now in pairing mode. So we'll just set our camera off to the side there. So we're going to hit this plus button now, and it's going to search for our Hero 8 Black. This page comes up, and you can see it says we found your GoPro. So we're going to hit connect camera. The GoPro beeps. We get a little check mark on it. Now at this stage, it's going to ask us to name our GoPro. Now just for a little tip here, if you're going to be adding your GoPro to multiple devices, so you're going to be adding it to your iPad and your iPhone, Make sure you use a nice simple name because the name has to be the same. For example, on your iPad, if you name your GoPro Bob's GoPro, and then you go to add it later on to your smartphone and you call it uh, just GoPro, it's going to change the name that's stored on the camera. So the next time you go to connect on your iPad, it's looking for Bob's GoPro that no longer exists. So, so definitely if you're going to be adding it to two devices, make sure you keep the name identical. So once we have our name entered, we hit save name. And that's basically it. So now we're going to hit let's go and it's going to now connect via Wi-Fi to the GoPro Hero 8 Black. It pops up asking us to join the Hero 8 Black network. There we go, we're now connected and you can see that there's a live view from the camera on the iPad. But what we want to do is transfer media. So if you're in the live view, all you have to do is click this little icon of the grid down in the bottom left hand corner and that's going to take us to the media that is stored on the memory card on the Hero 8 Black. Now just a couple quick things I do want to show you here that can be a little bit important. If you're ever having trouble connecting to your Hero 8 Black, sometimes it'll pop up a password box for you to enter a password. If you need to find out that information, again go to Preferences, again we're going to go to Connections, and we're going to go to Camera Info, and there it's going to list our camera name and the password. So we'll go in and we'll transfer some content over. Uh, you can see here I have a couple different things. Now we can go into each individual file and we can play it, preview it. 
But uh, just keep in mind, it's just going to be like a low res version. You don't get to be able to stream the nice high quality version when you're previewing it right from the camera. Now, when we're in a preview pane, you can see here this bottom with this little arrow pointing down. If we click on that, that's going to now download it to the GoPro app. If you have multiple things you want to download at once, we can click this check mark here at the top. We can then go through and just select a few different items. Then what we do is click this check mark here in the middle. So you can see here we have all our downloads and it gives us the progress as things transfer over to our phone or our iPad. And uh, you might sometimes see a message on there that it's converting. Sometimes if it's recorded in a format that's not compatible with your device, it'll convert it into a format that is compatible. Now transferring like this wirelessly does take a lot of time. If you've got a lot of very large files, it can be quite a cumbersome process. There is a much faster way to transfer your content, and I am going to show you that here when we're done with the GoPro app. The other important thing to know at this point is that we're not actually transferring the content to our camera roll yet. After we're done downloading, if we open up the Photos app, you're not going to see any of the content we've just transferred in there yet. There's one more step, and I'll show you that here once this is done downloading. I'm going to go ahead and pause this until it's done. Okay, so everything is now downloaded, and we know it's all downloaded because we get a little complete verification under each file. At the top here, it's popped up that we can now view our media. So everything has been transferred from the GoPro over to the GoPro app. So we can go ahead and power our GoPro off now. Now one little thing I do want to mention here is that you can burn through a lot of battery power transferring content over. So make sure you have enough charge in your GoPro before you start. I've burned through a whole battery before transferring large files over. If you're not too sure, you can always plug it into a wall or a power bank because you can transfer files while the GoPro is charging. So if you just want to go in and take a look at your media, you can click that view media and that will take you right to where it's stored in the GoPro app. But I'm just going to close it here so I can show you how to get to it if you uh, happen to close it down. So we're back at that main page now. And uh, what we're going to do is click this button down here, kind of in the middle. And that's our gallery. That's where GoPro stores all the content that we transfer over. So here's everything that we just transferred over. And again, I just want to mention that this is not on our camera roll yet. It's only stored within the GoPro app. And they do that just so you can make any edits. You can trim it down. You can edit it in quick and then transfer it to your camera roll. So from here again, we can go in. We can uh, preview the clip. We can do some basic editing down here at the bottom. But at this point, we can now save it to our camera roll or our photos, or we can share it. And we do so by clicking this button here at the top. You can see here it says save to photos and below that you can see it says share. So if we click on share, you can see it gives us all the popular social media channels that we can share it directly to. But we want to save it to our camera roll. So I'm going to hit save to photos and you can see there it just got transferred. Now when you share it to your photos, it's almost instantaneous, even if it's a large file, because it's already stored locally on your iPad, so it just has to make a copy of it. And if you notice what I said there, I said make a copy of it, because it's still going to be stored within the GoPro app. And I'll kind of explain that here in a minute. So let's go here to our photos, and here's the clip that we just transferred. Say we're done with it or we don't want it, we can delete it. But that's only deleting it from our camera roll. If I go back to the GoPro app, you can see that it's still there. So just keep in mind that when you transfer it to the app and then say you transfer all of this content over to your camera roll, you then have to come in and delete it out of the app. Otherwise, you're going to have a double copy of everything and it's going to eat up space on your iPad. And uh, just to show you here, I'm going to transfer that one again. So we'll save it to our photos. So if I launch my photos, you can see there it is there. Now what we can do is go to the GoPro app we can highlight it, I can delete it, so it's deleted it from the GoPro app, but if I go down to my photos, it's still there. So that's important to know, once you've transferred all your content over from the GoPro app to your camera roll, you can then go in and safely delete the files from the GoPro app, and it's not going to delete it from your camera roll. And it is important to do, like I said, otherwise over time you're going to have doubles of everything, and uh, that'll eat up a lot of your uh, storage space. So now this video isn't so much about editing. If you do want me to make a quick video on how to edit using the GoPro app, let me know down in the comments and I'll maybe put a little quick video together. So that was the first method of transferring content from the GoPro over to your iPad or iPhone using the GoPro app and using a wireless connection. And it works well, but it is very slow and very cumbersome. And like I said, you can eat up a whole GoPro battery just transferring content. And if you're out in the field or you're on holidays and you have limited battery power, 
but you want to kind of get a preview of what you've been filming, you don't want to waste battery power doing that. So there are a couple other methods we can do, and it's actually my preferred method of transferring content. Now this method involves removing the memory card. So if you're out in the field, you do have to take care. So the next method involves using a card reader to transfer directly to our device. And uh, you can see I've got two here. These are the Apple ones. So I've got a memory card to Lightning on one and a memory card to USB-C on the other. So it depends on what kind of device you have. If you have an Android device, you're going to be wanting the USB-C. Or if you have the 2018 iPad Pro, you're going to want a USB-C as well. If you've got the regular iPads, you would want a Lightning. And again, for the iPhone. So once we have our memory card inserted, we can launch our Photos app and we will plug it in either to the Lightning port or USB-C port, depending on what device you're transferring to. And you'll notice here, right away, once we plug it in, we're gonna get a new import icon. So if we click on the import, you can see here, it's gonna list all the files currently stored on the memory card. It's reading it directly from the memory card. Now the downfall to using this method is sometimes depending on what device you're using, the age of it, not all the file types are supported depending on the codec that it's recording in. Transferring this way is a lot faster you're not going to waste battery power on your GoPro, but uh, sometimes you will get a failed transfer because it's just not compatible and the system won't allow you to move it over. Anyways, let's just select a file here. You can see that there. I've selected it and I can hit import and it'll say import all or import selected. It's important to note that when doing it this way using something like the Apple Card Reader, it's going to bring it right into your camera roll. It's not going to use the GoPro app at all. Nothing gets stored in the GoPro app. Definitely if you do a lot of content shooting and you're going to be transferring everything over to an iPad or an iPhone, definitely these are worthwhile to pick up. Now alternatively, the last thing I'm going to show you here is something called the Quick Key. These here are by GoPro and they come in these little travel cases. Now the really unfortunate thing here, if you are an Android user, you're in luck because GoPro still sells the uh, USB-C version, which is this one here. You can see there, the USB-C version. But for some reason, they've stopped selling the Lightning one. Um, if you go to the GoPro website directly, they have the USB-C version, uh, but they've stopped carrying the Lightning version which is a real shame because it was a great little product. So the quick key works just like the Apple dongle did, like I've already shown you, uh, but it does work a little bit differently and it's kind of a nice feature. Let's just take our phone here. So we'll plug the quick key into the bottom here, into the lightning port, and you can see there right away it popped up, GoPro wants to communicate with the quick key. So we hit allow and what that's gonna do is launch the GoPro app. And you can see there at the top, it actually has quick key listed as the source. So there it's reading all the files off the quick key within the GoPro app. So we can then go in and transfer whatever files we want, just the same way we did on the iPad, click the transfer button. And the nice thing about using quick key in this method is that it will convert files over that are not compatible. And it'll do it fairly quickly because we're using it hardwired basically right into the lightning port instead of doing it wirelessly. So it is a real shame that these are just not available anymore. However, uh, if you have an Android, like I said, you can still pick up the USB-C version. The USB-C version will work on the iPad Pro with USB-C. If you watch when I plug it in. The only difference is, for some reason, it's not compatible where it launches the GoPro app directly. But if we go into our camera roll, you can see our import button is there. So we can then go in and just kind of browse our media. So that's basically it, folks. A couple different ways to transfer the content from your GoPro Hero 8 Black to your iPad or iPhone. Thanks a lot for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.